Crohn's disease is one of two major types of inflammatory bowel disease. It was named after some really smart guy who lived a long time ago, but I can't remember his name. Any person at any age can develop Crohn's disease, but it is rare in young children. Nobody knows what causes Crohn's disease, but it seems to be an overreaction of the immune system in response to some environmental trigger, perhaps some sort of bacteria or virus. There are genes associated with an increased risk of developing Crohn's disease, but no one gene causes the disease. So what are the symptoms of Crohn's disease? Let's give Michael here the disease and find out. So, Michael, how are you feeling? Not so good? Let's see, you seem to have weight loss, diarrhea with blood, crampy abdominal pain, fever, and loss of appetite. Unlike an infection, the symptoms can last for several months or longer. You better see a doctor. Crohn's disease can cause inflammation and ulcers anywhere in the gastrointestinal tract, from the mouth to the anus. It sounds like it's time for Michael to have a colonoscopy. Yep, just as I suspected, ulcers in the colon. Crohn's disease can sometimes cause inflammation or an infection that spreads outside of the intestines called an abscess. We better do a CT scan on Michael to find out. In severe cases, poop can actually leak to the surface of the skin and that's pretty gross. There is no one good blood test for Crohn's disease, but we better take a small blood sample from Michael here to check. A high white blood cell count or a low red blood cell count are common. Okay, it is time to give Michael here a break. There is no known cure for Crohn's disease, but treatment is pretty good. Antibiotics and anti-inflammatory medications can control most of the symptoms. Occasionally, surgery is required to remove an infected segment of intestines. Okay, Michael, feeling better? Yes? As you know, people with Crohn's disease can still live a normal life but require medications to control their symptoms. The disease likes to flare up occasionally, and this may require extra visits to the doctor. So off you go, Michael. Thanks for all your assistance. Fare thee well, and may your bowels be free of Crohn's disease.